Welcome fellow factory lovers. Today we're talking about 10 factory games worth checking out for the rest of 2022. Whether they're getting ready for their release or just for an update, or perhaps they're just classics to the factory game genre. These will tie you over until the next one arrives. Now with this video just covering 10 factory games, this list isn't exhaustive. So by all means, please do suggest in the comments any other factory games that I may have missed. But we're going to jump straight into it. And the first one on our list is the founding father to the factory genre, which is Factorio. Factorio was fully released at the end of 2020 and is debatably one of the best construction management simulation games to grace the factory genre. So if you haven't checked it out yet, you definitely should. Taking control of an engineer, you build a factory harvesting resources and face waves of enemies that grow from the pollution your factory produces. Upgrade your technologies, survive an onslaught whilst building huge train networks that do your bidding. There's also talk that a new DLC is in the works, which will double the size of the base game. So definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen it already. As for when this expansion is said to be released, there's speculation that it'll be later this year at around the cost of $30, but we're still waiting to hear more. Following on from Factorio, our second game and my personal favorite is Satisfactory. Update 6 has been released to Experimental and it's coming hopefully to early access soon. And the buzz around the community is that Satisfactory will be fully released next year. Until then, the game is receiving regular updates and is followed by a loyal fan base. With the game being set in a 3D world, there's a huge amount of creativity to be had with your sprawling networks of logistics. And if you've had enough of testing your creativity, you can always explore a beautifully handcrafted world. Definitely one to check out. And there's only one thing I love more than playing factory games, and that's listening to my music at the same time. If you're looking for a chilled lo-fi playlist, do check the link to my music below. If you're a content creator or a streamer, the music is copyright free, so you won't get any strikes. And if you're not a content creator, you can enjoy it and relax to it while playing your favorite games. Moving on, our third entry and one that I'm super excited for is Tectonica. You can expect to see a lot more of this on my channel soon. Tectonica is a game that is set under the ground of Calyx, a rogue planet. Your pioneer has to harvest resources and set up and expand a factory whilst exploring the luminescent caverns, trying to work out who they are and more importantly, who the box is that you're carrying around. Though the game is a while from full release, they already have an alpha out, which has been pushed out in waves so far. And I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more information about this over the coming months. And of course, we'll be covering everything that we know about it. So if you are wanting some more gameplay footage of this game, if you think it's gonna be something fun to check out, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Fourth up is Factory Town, a game that I've yet to play myself. This cutesy factory simulator sees you setting up minecart railways, conveyors and pipes to transport goods to your ever-expanding villages. I must admit, it's something I'm really interested in trying out when I have a little more time. If you're looking for something a little different from the standard factory where you're growing a colony, this could be the one for you. The recent update came out in January this year and it'll be interesting to see if they have any more planned in the future. Another game I've yet to play but I've heard quite a bit of buzz about recently is Foundry. So to me this looks like the love child between Satisfactory and Minecraft with the Minecraft style voxel graphics comes an infinitely simulated voxel world, which I know will appeal to a lot of players. Harvest resources and build your factory, and while at it, why not automate everything? If you're looking for something a little more cartoonish, which has the complexity of larger factory games, check out their website and get access to the alpha. Sometimes you just want to be able to jump into a game and have a casual playthrough to relax you. Well, this is where Shapes comes in. It's priced at $7.99 and the simple world is based on shapes and colors. All you need to do is cut and patch these shapes back together and paint them to meet 
the endless objectives the game has for you. The game was released in June 2020 and has gained overwhelmingly positive reviews over on Steam. With them also releasing a DLC last year, it may not be new, but it's a classic worth trying out. Uh, speaking of which, the demo is free as well, so why not check it out right now? A less well-known game, but one that I've had the opportunity to play is Junk Punk. Now, this was released at the end of last year. It's currently in early access and certainly feels a little clunky, but might be something worth checking out. In this game, you are a sentient AI and have been sent to restore a, a ruined planet to make it ready for habitable life. Build, explore and automate as you terraform the planet. Seems a pretty cool concept and definitely one to keep an eye on. The next game takes on the opposite approach. Instead of terraforming a planet, your objective is to harvest planets in order to build a Dyson Sphere. Yes, we're going to be talking about the Dyson Sphere program, a game that was sprung upon us at the start of last year, and it's become a fan favorite in the factory genre. And what's better yet is the game is still being updated, ready for its full release, with the next update covering enemies. As the game develops further, it's definitely going to be worth keeping your eye on and snagging it when you get the chance. And speaking of Early Access Factory games, a few months ago Captain of Industries came to Early Access on Steam and has seen a dedicated fanbase pick up the game, which sees you taking on and growing a colony whilst harvesting resources and automating various parts to further the colony. It has an expansive tech tree and exploration elements which sees you fighting off pirates. And another game that I've had the pleasure of checking out myself is Infraspace. The factory elements of this game are slightly looser and comes more in the form of setting up road logistics to transport resources between the settlement and industrial areas. It's definitely a more chilled game to play, but it's certainly another fun one to check out. Now before we finish, we have a bonus factory game for you. But first, if you've liked this selection of games, hit the thumbs up to help more of our factory genre lovers discover more great factory games. And again, let me know any games you think I should have included in this list in the comments below. Our bonus game today is Hydra Near. It's constantly receiving updates and sees you using hydropower to automate the harvesting and smelting of minerals in order to sell the products for a profit and buy new land. There's also a farming update on the horizon and they're going to be updating vehicles as well. If this sounds like your cup of tea, then do check it out. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of our amazing patrons, most notably our Solo Eclipse patrons, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin, Firefless, as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Dixie Chris and Ben, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Chick Norris. Until next time, as always, ciao for now. <laughs>